Hi. So if you watch my other video that I was um, talking through Heather's uh, flyer, sort of a before and after, sort of making some improvements to it. And um, this video is all about um, how to get your uh, Canva design ready for print. Um, it's something that I saw recently chatting on some uh, on a LinkedIn post is that there's a real problem with when people who are not trained as a designer or art worker, when they're supplying artwork to print um, at a printer's and there can be things that go wrong even in Canva and um, I thought this would help um, hopefully give you some clues of things of what not to do or how to do things better. So I'm going to share my screen and talk you through some bits. Now first thing is first is um, I suspected that this flyer is A4 or at least I wanted to check the size of it and um, it does say um, you can see when you go to sort of um, creating a design and looking at the template it says that it's 210 by 297 millimeters and that is A4 and looking at the design here I personally wouldn't have a flyer at A4 usually you would have an a, um, a flyer A5 which is when you have an A4 sheet of paper and you fold it in half that equals A5. So if you want to know of what um, paper sizes there are out there, there's a, um, a website called papersizes.io forward slash A forward slash. And it was, I just Googled uh, paper sizes and this came up. So this is really good for you to be able to see that. So you can see that A4 is 210 by 297 millimeters, which is what the flyer is set at. So this is a default thing. And you may be able to see in the tab that um, the tab with the flyer in has got flyer with brackets A4. So that's the size it is. But we want it to be A5. I think A5 would be a much better uh, size for that. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm going to create a, um, if I go to home, I'm going to create a custom size and hopefully copy this across. So custom dimensions, make sure it's on millimeters because pixels is for screen size. So if you're like, oh, I can't remember what it is, you do the width first, so that's uh, 148. So we do width 148 millimeters and it will be 210 because it's half. Create a new design. Um, and we're going to see if we can copy all of this over onto here and see what happens. Okay, let's see if we can copy the background on its own. Okay, so there's something that must have been off the screen. Okay, so so I need to now resize this to fit this. Um, so I'm going to put um, a touch. I always like to save, or do the file name as well. Uh, touch of Heather. And I'm going to put A5 in back brackets. Um, flyer. Oop, can't spell flyer. Um, and I'm going to have to resize that up in a minute. Um, but um, I'm just trying to move um, some Zoom things at the top out of the way for me. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think what I'll do is just um, add a little block. I might do it slightly differently. Elements, add a block. Hopefully I can do that. Okay. So then I know where that is. Position to back. I'm going to copy all of that. So then I know where it's supposed to be. I'm not quite sure why from going from A4 to A5 it makes it look 
different. Maybe it's one of the quirks of um, um, bear with <laughs> um, flyer. Yeah, it definitely says flyer is 210 by 297. So that's what um, I would imagine that Heather used as her, um, her starting point. Um, and it is also, I tested it out by downloading it and opening it up in some design software of mine just to check it, what the size was. Um, okay, so I can delete that. Um, I shall make a new page and I will do the same with this one, which is the back, the chosen design. If you want to see, if, you, if you're if watching this one first, you can see what I did to create the edits um, in a previous video. So just check that out. So I'm going to size that up and then I'll delete that grey block. Okay, so I'll delete that. So that sh should be about that right. So this means that this is now sized for A5. I can also see the dimensions of the tab, which is 148 millimeters by 210 millimeters, which I do know is A5. So that just means by having it the correct size in the document, when you go to download the PDF, it will be the um, correct size. Um, so I'm going to delete that bit. I will um, <clears throat> make sure to, that that's clear that that's A4 because Heather may wish to have it A4 and I could be completely wrong. Um, make sure that that allows it to save. So that's saved. I'll get rid of that. Okay, so I'm going to talk through um, what you need to sort of keep in mind, <clears throat> excuse me, when uh, we're sending something to print. So when you've got any objects that are going off the page, you need to make sure that, I mean, with a circle, that's fine. If you've got something which is like, a, you've got an image that's in a square background, for example, something like that, if you just have it to the edge like that, you're not allowing something called bleed, something, and the bleed is what is, is the extra bit that comes off the page. And what that does is that when you are sending it to print, um, the um, printer will um, will print it or will cut it at what is known as the crop marks. Um, and I'll explain a bit more of that in a, in a minute. But you want to be having allow some of that image to go, go across the page. Where there's the blue, because this is set in the background, I'm hoping that it will allow a bit of bleed, but we'll soon see that. If it doesn't, I'll have to do it in a different way. Um, so I'll check that. Um, okay, so in order to do download this, you're sort of making sure that you haven't got anything too close to the edge that might get cropped off. Um, you want to allow a little bit of space. You want to check how everything is. Please note that colours um, particularly blue and orange will print out quite different um, to what it looks like on screen because the way colors are created on screen it's through light and on ink it's a, it's a layering process um, so it's very different so you're not going to match the color very exactly the same so what will probably happen when this flyer because it's mainly blue um, and there's it's quite a vibrant blue it there will be some dulling down it won't be as vibrant um, so please be aware of that um, and it's worth sort of getting um, what is known as a proof or print proof um, sometimes it's called other things but i've always known it as a proof 
Um, and basically it's a test print. So they will do one or two copies of it and you can see it, you can check it, um, check that you're happy with it, making sure that all the images are a good quality. Um, you know, that's something to sort of keep in mind, especially if you're uploading your own images. Um, make sure that you're not blowing them too big or your logos <clears throat> and things like that. So you just go to the download button. Um, with, the, um, with the other one that we were working on, um, I think it was this one. Nope. To refresh it. So the one that I was working on with the A5, A4, sorry. So because that was an A4 template or it was a flyer template, Canva knows that it's already a, um, uh, it's, it's to be printed. So it's already, it's prompting you to suggest that you have uh, a PDF print. It's also trying to upsell by um, using Canva to print. Um, which you could do. I've not tried printing with Canva, so I can't tell you whether it's good or not. Um, so it's already suggesting that. So what we want to do is uh, we want it PDF. You want PDF print, make sure you have it like that. You want it to be crop marks and bleed. So I talked about that. So bleed is the extra off. Um, so that should make sure that the blue comes across. Um, and then if I download it, um, we'll see what comes out and I will hopefully be able to talk you through um, So it's just uh, doing that now. I'm just going to stop share because um, just so I can make sure I can share the right document. I've opened up Nothing. Um, right, I'm going to share my screen again, but I'm going to share the PDF and talk you through. So you should be able to see here that the colour looks quite different now. Um, as, as I said, there's some of the dulling down because it's for print. Um, it has allowed, I'll zoom in. Can I zoom in? Okay, so if I zoom in, you can see that there's some things here. Um, there is um, these crop marks here, those are the crop marks. So this is where the printer will trim, trim off. Um, and, then, um, and then anything that is beyond that is the bleed. So usually, uh, as a rule of thumb, there's uh, three mils. Uh, three millimeters of bleed and that's usually the kind of you know sometimes with um sort of large format printing like uh, banners or really big posters printers ask for five mil bleed i'm not sure how you would um set that extra bleed in um in canva so you can see here it's all there it's looking okay um there seems to be a little bit of um They've shown a bit of extra of that um, uh, bubble at the top, but that's fine. Basically, you don't want it to be really tight in. That can cause problems. Um, so overall, that's kind of looking okay. Um, and um, yeah, if you've got any questions, I'm going to stop share. So if you've got any questions about printing, what you need to do, uh, please let me know. Um, I will um, upload some um, images of the, uh, the sort of uploaded or the, the PDFs, but there'll be images that so they won't be PDFs, but you, so you can see what I'm talking about and um, see for yourself. Um, hopefully that has been useful. And um, like I said, ask any questions in the group or in the comments. Um, I'm here to help. Have a great Friday. Take care. Bye.